Good morning. It is Wednesday the 13th of December and <laughs> it's past 8 o'clock and I was supposed to be at work by now but I'm not. I woke up in the middle of the night and was awake for hours before I was able to fall back to sleep. So I actually stayed in bed until now. Uh, but now I need to get up, hopefully manage to get a cup of coffee and then I'll head to work. Fortunately, I have some plus time I can use, of, so uh, it's okay, but not ideal. Uh, and I do have to be at work by 10, so I can be on desk at 10. One thing that I really enjoy about this book is that it references to other books and I love the fact that it references to like Jane Austen and things like that but no I have come about a little bit of a pet peeve of mine because she is referencing to the Norwegian author Jo Nesbø and O and Ö are very distinctive letters in Norwegian you could probably hear it O Ö two very different letters and they changed the meaning of words and for some reason your Nesbos name has been translate, translated into Nesbo uh, in English with an O at the end instead of an Ö. Uh, Ö is one of the three letters in the Norwegian alphabet that you can't find in the English alphabet. And that is really annoying. It's like if you change the V to a W in English, and we all know that there's a difference between, between lower and lover, right? So that is pretty much what they're doing in with, with uh, the Norwegian author's name. His name is not Nesbo, it's Nesbø. Not Nesbo, Nesbø. <laughs> Two different names. So a little bit of a pet peeve of mine, um, I have managed to read quite a bit in the book. This is upside down, so this is the top. Um, so hopefully I will finish this in a couple of days time, I hope. And I am going to read a little bit more before I head to work because I want to finish my coffee before I leave. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't use too much time though because I really really need to be at work before 10 o'clock and use some of my plus time. I've let my boss know of course. It's not like I'm just sleeping in and not letting anyone know. I, I have already like messaged my boss and said hey I didn't really sleep last night so I, I need an extra couple of hours to wake up. So that's what's happening and yeah I will be off to work shortly. Um, Hopefully get to read more of this today. If I'm very lucky, I'm actually a manage. I'll actually finish this today, but that's not very likely, I think. I don't think um, I will be able to finish this until maybe tomorrow.
I have finished the Cornish Cream Tea Bookshop by Cressida McLaughlin and this was exactly what I expected and exactly what I needed. It is cozy, it is predictable, it's relaxing and there's like romance and it's kind of a Christmas store as well so it's very fitting for the season. I actually been, have been saying that romance isn't for me, but I think this kind of ra romance at the right, right time is not that bad. It was humorous as well, like there, it did make me laugh from time to time. And sometimes you just need to read for escapism, which was pretty much what I really needed right now. With that, I am going to end today's video because I find it a very fitting place to end. I finished a book, super pleased about that. I didn't think I would do that today, but super excited to bring in a new book. And I have decided that I will continue December just doing mood reads and read whatever that kind of strikes my fancy. So that's what I'm going to do. Not to bothering about a TBR, not bothering about what I'm supposed to read. And I'm going to go through the books that I have from the library and hand back the books that I'm not going to read uh, for the rest of December because there's no point really. Uh, if I want to read them later on, I can borrow them again. It's not a problem. So with that, I will wish you a good night or a good day, depending on where you are. And until tomorrow, bye.